my own research. I come with my okay, own. Okay, you're a moron. Vision. There's literally no point in talking to you. You're just a dumb bitch. Okay. Go fuck yourself, you an idiot. Okay. Yeah, you ran though. Like, you're the spot if I want to. So, I didn't run. There's no point in talking to you. When I ask you to provide evidence for your claim, you say, that's just what I believe. I believe. When I said asking like that, why weren't they stopped earlier? earlier? It's because they, well, they had other run. countries Hold fucking on, working. Yeah, I actually came in to tell Destiny that he might want to actually talk to Xena about her being, um, like, racist against Jews. She's a Holocaust revisionist. Is she actually? Really? Yeah, she said only a million people died in the Holocaust. Huh. She she said that directly to me on stream when I was debating her. Was she when, rounding down to the nearest one or something? <laughs> yeah, really. And she was in Red Pill space for a while, so it honestly wouldn't surprise me, but... Yeah. Hmm. With Xena, she really just has no idea, right? So, like, is it a belief if it's not based in anything? Or, sorry, yeah. is it, like, a position if it's not based in anything? It is a belief, <laughs> but, like, it's not reasoned in any way. I don't know if or ideal. Seriously. Or is it well, ideologically based or something? She's surrounded by people based. like Sneeko, and mm -hmm. Sneeko is a Holocaust revisionist, and, like, again, they, they associate with Fuentes and shit. For sure. So the basis is Jews are conspiring to take over the world, so they exaggerated the Holocaust. Uh, I'm sure that's what the basis is, but... Ideologically based, then? Yeah, so I, if you ever have an opportunity, I was just going to tell Destiny you might want to talk to her about that, because she might be more willing to listen to you about it than me. Sure. Okay, wait, hold on. I just got a quick question, okay? Because um, there's like a friend of our stream. I'm just curious if you're a friend of the stream. He went to law school, um, supposedly. Um, he thinks that if you're a Jew, if a Nazi is coming to kidnap you, you're not allowed to do anything about it because you have to submit to the will of the state no matter what, and you're never allowed to defend yourself, as long as the Nazis are not going to use, like, direct lethal force on you. Do you think that's a reasonable position to have, or do you think that's a wild position to have? No. Uh, I'm totally in favor of gun ownership so you can defend yourself against the police and government. If they're doing something that you find unjust, uh, you should be able to just blow them away. Base. Absolutely. Nice. Right. Okay. Just Good kidding. answer. So are we uh, deflecting because we don't really care about delusional oh. people? Because uh, it sounds what it's like. I can't really stick around for for this fun one, but I do want to say to Xena, Xena, I love your timeline. You are one of my favorite shit posters. And there she goes. <laughs> oh, someone tell her what I said. But I got to get going. I got other shit I got to do. You all, Bye. take care. DGGL. Bye. Bye-bye. Adios. Bye-bye. Xena, what's up? I don't know, somebody added me and said join, 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 and they were like, something was being said, and that Damn, I didn't. They're quick. So how many Jews do you think died? <laughs> no, he said that. What the fuck? About six million, unfortunately. I just don't believe in the numbers of that or the... And I don't believe nine million witches were persecuted either. Wait, when were 9 million witches uh, supposedly persecuted? Okay, so if you research some of the Inquisition, they say 9 million European women were were, slot, were killed. Yeah, and I just don't believe in those numbers. How do I they mean, relate whatsoever? The what? I, yeah, I don't know how that relates. We got, that was close. We almost got it. Well, how it relates is I just don't believe in the numbers. Like I just think that over time things are sometimes just overly exaggerated. So when the Nazis cu uh, kept record keeping, that was that uncovered. Say, because I think they also hyped shit up to seem like they were cooler and that they had so much dominance. They were the trying to world. hide it. They they tried to burn to burn as many records as they could so they could avoid uh, war crimes. So what do you mean they tried to hype I don't it up? Shit from no Nazis. Uh, okay, huh? well, when they're the ones who perpetrate... Okay, wait, wait, wait. If you don't believe Nazis, so then when they testify... When they testified in the Nuremberg trials, nothing they said could be used as evidence against them? I don't believe in their numbers. I think the Nazis had a goal, and their goal wasn't obviously good. And on top of that, they... I mean, even their... Okay, even their fucking fashion was a way to get youthful people to want to be Nazis. Like you think they, they, the so Nazis are good because you know, they had Hugo Boss? Is, is that it? <laughs> they did a lot of manipulation tactics. So I just think that they hyped up some of, like, I just don't believe the numbers. I think history just gets they, shit fucking frustrated. What do you mean they hyped it up? They tried to That's destroy the, the records. And they tried to destroy the
keeping records of inquisitions too. And I'm saying I don't believe in the numbers of my own ancestors being slar like that many people being killed. Wait, where is your opinion. ancestry? Why? Why are your I just said the witches? witches inquisition. I'm saying there's a large amount of numbers where they say nine million European women died, and that's crazy. Nine million is insane. How did you become a witch? <sighs> One spell at a time. Born and raised. So you like know, you just, like just ask vegan gains. You have you have fifteen ovens, and it takes you. Good one. Good one. Good one, Justical. Good one, Justical. Nope, I wasn't gonna cut you off. I was gonna let you sink on that joke that nobody in here, but besides me, gets. So good job. World War II like, was only what? a few How vegan generations gains gets ago. That joke? World War II was only a few generations ago. Okay, witches is like so many generations back. It's very hard to trace people's like family trees reliably when they used to just pick their surnames based on the thing that they did. So like I, the reason why it's harder to get clear numbers for how many witches they ducked and then burnt is because it's a lot further in the past. Like you, you realize there's a massive amount of documentation supporting the amount of Jews killed in the Holocaust. Like they yeah, had... I just said there is documentation, but it's also just a few generations back, so we could just trace their family she's trees. Agreeing right? with me, basically, she's saying it's probably easier. No, she's to not. Trace, but... I, Kelly Jean is, is agreeing. She's yeah. agreeing. I'm Ke saying Kelly it's Jean easier to know how many saying, people like, died why? in World War II than yeah. it is how many witches died in hundreds and two even yeah. further back. Yeah, saying but just because, so yeah, but basing your opinion on World War II because of witches is, is stupid. I'm basing my opinion based off of many reasons why I just don't believe what's just being told to me. Like, but I just the don't. reason you give is witches oh. and Hugo Boss. Like, give us a good a reason. reason. That wasn't a reason. That was. Do you have a good one? That's not a reason. Is, is there a good one Zina, hiding there? Wait, is a good Zina. reason in the room with us oh, right now? David, I think that's your Zina, could you give us the best evidence in support of the idea that only one million Jews died in the Holocaust? I said one to two million because that's what the f I believe, bro. When I read up on the shit, well, what do you mean? That's what you believe. That's give us the best evidence available. I just think that they exaggerate. I think history exaggerates. I think okay, they so there's lie no reason it. for why you believe that. You just think it's an exaggeration. Lie. There's I literally just, yeah, no reason. I read up on my own shit and I just come to my own conclusion. That then the give us the lies. best evidence available. That the government lies to me. You don't have to agree with no, me. No, no, that's not evidence. You're just making a claim. Agree. What is the best physical evidence then available that only that one to two million claim. died? By reading and doing my own research, I come with my okay, own moron there's literally no point in talking to you you're just a dumb bitch okay. go fuck yourself you idiot yeah you ran though like you get mad when nobody wants to agree with your opinion i'm not saying that you're wrong either i just have my own form of opinion from my own research i don't have to go and believe everything told to me just because it read it in a book or history says it or science says it i'm not believing that destiny is i don't even believe in the moon landing do i have enough evidence to prove that the earth is flat clearly not but i can believe the earth is flat if i want to so, dumbass, I didn't run. There's no point in f***ing talking to you. When I ask you to provide evidence for your f***ing claim, you say, that's just what I believe. I believe. When I said the government lies, that's the evidence. The government f***ing lies all the time. If you're going to say that. shit like this. Simple as that. You, the government you lies. running away? You're just a f***ing moron. Why would I talk to a f***ing moron? I'm a moron because I don't have the same yeah, beliefs as you. Believe the earth right. is flat. That's just what I believe. I believe the I government. I said if I wanted to believe the earth is flat, believe, then I would what, believe what, what, what's it. Based the shape on forming of the world? my own opinion on what's my own research. What's the shape research. of the earth? Alice, what's the shape of the earth? What is the shape of the earth? Since you know everything. Well, tell us what the. I want to know what well, your well, what opinion is, is on well, the shape of the earth. I this juicy fat steak real quick. Well, it's so round. In case you couldn't figure it out yourself. It is? Okay, can you prove that to me? Because you can't really prove it. You could just give me a whole bunch of things. Uh, oh, no, NASA. there's literally oh, satellite you image. You can't prove She's a flat earther. Flat She's a flat earther. I'm not there flat you go. So Thank this you. fucking moron believes the earth is flat, isn't convinced the earth is round, and she also thinks the Holocaust only Except involved a million Destiny deaths. Destiny knows my right. actual take. So why the, the f*** would I talk to somebody who's this stupid and keep arguing with you? Like, it's not running away when I just refuse to f***ing argue with somebody this f***ing stupid. What a moron. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, great. Choke on it, you dumb bitch. Oh yeah, I'm sure your fucking witchcraft will give you the energy in that steak. Well, guess what? It'll just f***ing clog your arteries. Mm. Yeah, choke on it. Do us I all a favor. It. Stop chewing. It's like, it's See, like she's neither just a f***ing stupid dumb bitch. She's I a flat earth crap. fucking holocaust denying... Dumb bitch. It's I so good. Not Holocaust <laughs> Denial. 
Nobody's Jeez. denying the Holocaust either. <laughs> Holy shit. I just think if you read up and do whatever you want, he's, form your own decisions. Form your own fucking Queen, opinion. he's gone, he's gone, Simple. Queen. You can rest. Um, I love that guy so much. He's a funny man. I am curious though. What makes you think it's one million versus seven million or six million? Hold on, let me fucking finish choking on this meat real quick. Um so I think, like, women as, are brought up. as we go forward, I think, obviously, look, the numbers go up with how many people are in the world, right? So on that, I just think back then, I'm thinking we had less, significantly, way less people in, in the world than we do, obviously, today. And I'm just like, I just think that number's way too large. Like, how could that be possible? Like, I just don't. I just think it's so impossible. Like, I just think it's fucking crazy. How could, like, what I think is, how could it even get to that extent for it to be that many people that we didn't step in way sooner and like it just doesn't make sense to me that's why i'm just like no the there's no fog way of a four year look, war going on or a five year war sorry four year war going on but that's what i'm saying like that's why i'm just like also like vegan games they didn't step in soon enough either so it's just to be fair, for, what you're saying yeah, is what, what you're saying is completely like, valid, right? It is an Americans unbelievable thing. But the, the exactly. reason why the Holocaust is considered such an exceptional event is because it's probably the first time in human history where that level of resource, that level of coordination, that level of dedication, where there was like an active taking away from the even the war effort to ship so many people to so many different mm -hmm. locations across multiple camps in Poland and other countries to like execute that many people. Like that's why the Holocaust is considered such an exceptional event is because of like how much effort was given into the liquidation of the Jewish people and the Soviets as well that were captured and other undesirables. Yeah, my sister gave gave me, like, that same fucking example, and, like, I just, I don't know, like, my mind is just, like, I don't know, maybe it just boggles me so much that I'm, like, there's just no way. Like, that's just what it is. Like, it's just so unbelievable to me because of how yeah, mass... Yeah, but unbelievable speak. doesn't, like, there's uh, over, there's, like, 100 billion neurons in your head. Do you not believe in your brain because that's, like, an unbelievable number? Or do you know how many cells there are in your body or atoms there are in the universe or, like pieces of sand on a beach like all of these numbers are unfathomable but to say that an unfathomable number must be fabricated or untrue it just it doesn't logically follow can i, I just that. ask real quick xena i just want to know mm -hmm. um so one of the big secondary sources of proof for this is the fact that every european country did a census like before the war and so mm -hmm. the populations of european jews relatively like well known and german like german jews any jews from those areas and then when they redid the censuses like there was a huge chunk taken out. Like obviously, tons of people were gone. Uh, like way yeah, too many. Obviously, the, lots of people yeah. leaving, but way too many for just people leaving. Right? Like there just weren't mm -hmm. that many people in the surrounding countries. Do you think the Jews could have altered those censuses, like the records of those countries? Well, I don't think that the Jews, if that's what you're getting at, did anything to alter these numbers. I know there are the conspiracists that think the fucking Jews or what the Zionists went and put these numbers in and all of that shit. But no, I, I don't believe in that. I don't think the Jews had anything to do with the number systems. I think the Jews took a very tragic fucking turn in everything that happened to them due to this shit Hitler did. And I just think like the numbers like I just think it's fucking insane that. It could get to that extent. Like, okay, hold on. I, I you understand that, like, nothing you're saying makes sense, right? So you're saying that it's six million is insane. One million is insane, right? I know that's insane, yes, but, like... So if you believe in one million, how is six million untenable? How is it impossible to believe number? Because how was it not stopped? So, like, how, like, um, how did one, for, for example, how the fuck did Hitler even get to that amount of power over so many people and raise that many people that would actually follow through with this at the same time like because, how well, okay hold on because power? one because he was a dictator okay number one that's yeah, kind of how power of the dictator works happen? how did it happen because germany because roughly speaking after world war one germany was the laughing stock of the world right at, like the, for mm -hmm. they basically at the end of world war one everybody said it's all germany's fault you lose all your army all your territories you have all the war debt fuck you and basically germany got it felt like like 
all these other huge empires were literally dissolved. They didn't even exist anymore, right? Um, mm -hmm. The Ottoman Empire was dissolved. austria hungary was dissolved. Like, these other huge empires were dissolved. And then, yeah, and then Germany got settled with a ton of shit. So, I mean, in that environment, it's not unfathomable to think, like, I mean, look at how Trump came to power, right? Make America great again. We're fucked. You know, everybody hates us, right? It's not unfathomable to think that somebody could come to power and say, like, hey, we're going to return us to our former glory. That's kind of what Russia runs on a lot today. I'm just, yeah, I, I understand that part. Like, okay, growing up, like, not that... I don't want to say Hitler was romanticized, but like we've always what like my mom was very much fascinated and want like my mom obviously if I tell her oh I think it was like one to, between one and three million my mom's gonna tell me oh shut the fuck up because obviously she's more probably leaning towards your take on this like she researched all of this too like whatever we watch all these documentaries and we read these books it's just forming my own idea from it and reading and all of that and hearing different takes and watching you know different conspiracies I guess I just kind of just. Get to we do we do remember like that it wasn't longer. just germany oh. right there was the axis yeah, I know. It was powers and germany and had the strongest places. fucking army okay like this wasn't just oh they felt kind of bad after world war one and so that's the... <laughs> or i'm okay, curious like, like what about um do you, well, you... like okay my, my sister even told me before because i know that they first established camps in what like 1933 and that was after hitler was a chancellor that's what my sister re-explained to me the camps operated like over tens of thousands uh over 10 years until hitler's until after hitler's death right no no until hitler's death which was like 19 what 44 45 44 45, 45. Okay, and then <laughs> there was over a thousand camps. So I get like there were six not. million Jews. Yeah, but you're asking like, why weren't they, they, they stopped earlier? Yeah. Yeah. It's because they well, had other hard. countries hold working, Ellie, working with the them. On. Kelly, hold the fuck on. You yes, dumbass. there was over one. Th there was over a thousand camps. So I was just saying, like, my sister obviously, like, she would even break down, like, the six million Jews doesn't sound that much of a stretch if you take and counter those stats. But now you're telling me there wasn't over a thousand camps. Hold on. Okay. There, like, there were lots of different camps. Not all of them were death camps, right? I think there were several really large death camps. I don't know if there were a thousand Extermination death camps. camps. They I... were always going to be death camps, but whether they were mm -hmm. gassing them or not. They were dying. You think they were just chilling in these camps regardless? Mm -hmm. my if you do understanding, something wrong, if they were labor camps, they would be doing stuff that people were still getting killed all the time we're not talking no 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 no, no, kelly okay you don't understand the holocaust these camps were not camps i for just people. said they're not all gas no 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 no. if you're trying to equate a concentration camps. camp to a death camp you don't understand how six million jews were killed there is a significant no. difference between if you're gonna make a claim okay that's wrong okay there was a significant difference between a concentration camp where people might be worked to death versus the liquidation camps where people were lined up on walls and shot moved into mobile gas vehicles and fucking uh gassed and then moved into actual like showers and gas with the mass graves and the mass cremation and the mass burials these were these were quite different things right like people and died, i'm just saying people they died, died, died at all yeah they died they did die in all of them but the death camps is where the lion's share of the killing happened not just people dying because they were overworked in concentration camps it was about half in the gas if you're talking extermination that that's only accounts for half and just i just want to make a quick point and say that um america managed to intern 1.2 million people in just the short amount of time they were in the war right so like the six million number or like 10 20 million people interned over the course of the entire entirety of world war ii isn't shocking when you realize that the u.s put over a million people into camps obviously not death camps Right, and then, like, the war, right, it raged for, what, like, four years, correct? Uh, 1939 World war to 1945, so... It was about 1939 four... to 45, so five or so years, yeah. Okay, but yet they started establishing camps, like I'm saying, in, in 33. So I'm talking about before the war. Like, before we finally got into place of being like, okay, let's fucking handle this, because since 1933, right before... Like, how many years until, like, they were already doing camps? Well, sure, but like, careful, hold on, careful, wait, 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 careful, 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 careful. The United States didn't enter World War II to stop the Holocaust, though, right? The United States entered World War II because Japan bombed us at Pearl Harbor. Yes, I know that. Japan ended up pulling us into the war. Yeah, so we didn't enter we did to Hiroshima. stop, we didn't enter to stop the Holocaust. So that wasn't even a primary... I Yes, I get oh that. And God. that's what's so mind boggling is why, first of all, why would we just jump in because of Japan? Why did um, like why did America not care if they were making like if they were already killing so many fucking innocent people? 
for being Jews, mind you. Why weren't they jumping in and ending this sooner? Because that's, one, that's like because I don't, because one, I don't think we knew the full extent to how crazy the Holocaust was until we started to actually get through the camps. I think we had an inkling of stuff going on, but we didn't have uh, the full picture. Also, my understanding is, and I can go back and look up these dates. My understanding is like the mass extermination, the like the mass liquidation, mm -hmm. that didn't happen until I believe, wasn't it like the final three or four years of the war? Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But I don't think they were like death camping people in 33, 34, 35 and exterminating fucks and people. I think that happened towards the like the last few years is when they were like, we're going to start killing every motherfucker. Oh, because I, okay, because mine, I don't, okay. From what I'm, st what I've studied, and how I grew up, like, and what we even learned in school was, it the camp started in 1933. That's the numbers that I remember. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just want to say, there's a huge difference. Like the United States of America, arguably, mm -hmm. had concentration camps for Asian Americans. I think specifically Japanese Americans. It might have been all Asian Americans. Um, but a concentration camp is different than a death camp. Concentration camp might be hard labor, shitty conditions, you're dying from tuberculosis diseases. A death camp is literally the most efficient form of slaughtering as many people as possible in as short a time as possible while disposing of the bodies. So death camps were very unique. Concentration camps have existed in varying forms throughout lots of human history. Death camps like the Nazis did it had never existed up to that point. Mm. Also, what do you think anything, like here's, here's two other things that I think are hard, gra hard facts to grapple with when it comes to denying like the number of Jews killed one, do you believe in the 5 million Soviets killed in the death camps? Because there were 5 million Soviets killed as well. Or do you but think- But those are Jews. What? I thought that those numbers were, were pushed together. My understanding is that there is there were about 11 million people killed in the death camps. Six million were Jews, around five million were Soviets. Some of the Soviets might have been Jews, but there were like millions of Soviet citizens that were killed in the death camps as well that weren't all Jews. The majority of them weren't. Th that number isn't just included as Jews. Well then, wouldn't you, okay, so with that being said, if the camp started in 1933 and we're saying they weren't killing these people up until well, what the war started, that's when they really started nuking those people. Yeah. I'm just saying if, if I were to believe these numbers, then I would have to believe that they were already killing these people in 1933, which causes the alarm for me to be like, why the fuck didn't we jump in this war and handle this? No, and, no, no, and no, no. Stop in 33, that absolutely was not happening. Absolutely not. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I get it. That's sure, why, yeah. that's one of my main reasonings behind like thinking like, are the, <laughs> like uh, that the numbers are crazy yeah, because it would be if weird it, if, if that much death killed, was happening and nobody around the world seems to care about it yes before, sure. and so quickly like for that small <laughs> amount i get four or five years is, is a long time i know i understand four or five years is a long time and i guess we could rack up those numbers and or did but i'm just saying it just makes more sense that they were already killing them since 1933 therefore it is a 10 year span mm -hmm. and that makes more sense for me to believe 11 million people that's like a million a year which that would make more sense to me but Arguably, any time that I've brought this up, w whether I'm like talking to somebody else, um, like on other podcasts, they'll say, "Oh, they'll say the same thing. They weren't killing since then." And that's why I'm like, "Okay, so then how do these numbers exist?" Like, they that's exist just because it was again, it was an insanely um, crazy high. I mean, like, how many people do we kill in an instant in Hiroshima, and Nagasaki, right? I mean, like these death camps were handling a ton of people. There were, again, there were literal military supply lines that were dedicated towards shipping Jews to different parts of the countries. When Hitler would take over other countries, he would negotiate in these countries to have death camps and Jewish people killed in those countries. There were roving death squads with vans, with gas chambers, roving shooting squads that would shoot people, kill them, bury them. Like it was, again, not to fucking soar out over my Jewish fucking friends here, but like there's a reason why the Holocaust is hyped up as much as it is. And it's not just because the Jews want us to feel bad for them. It was truly like organized mass execution and cremation on a level that had nothing in human history was even remotely close to how efficient and widespread the Holocaust was. It was insane dedication to murdering people. And, and, and really, and like, I believe the majority of the killing was in like two years, I think. That's my understanding. It wasn't over 10 years. It was like two years where most of the people were killed. That's truly insane. Can you see the link that I provided you real quick? Um, I, okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, this was a good uh, lesson to be learned here. I like this. I like this discussion. I like. Uh, Thanks. I feel like I learned a lot from you I, today, Zena. Okay. No, I I think I've learned a lot from you because mm -hmm. I think you've given me a better. You've given me a lot more to think about. Sure. Uh, okay. You've given me better numbers to actually like. That was like one of my main things that I would bring up and try to understand anyway, sure. truthfully. So kind of makes. Have you heard sense about now. like how many people like the Japanese were killing like in China and shit? Or do you believe in any of the Japanese war crimes? 
Are you talking about since what the Pearl Harbor Hiroshima shit? No, no, no. There's a whole there's way before that. There's a whole war going on, and we don't talk about the. I don't know if you'd call it the Asian theater, but what was going on with Japan between Japan and China and the other Southeast Asian countries, where the Japanese were also killing and experimenting and genociding on tons of people. Are you as talking well. about Rwandan genocide or whatever? The Rwandan genocide. Or I'm no? talking no, about the whole. I think it's the Sino. Is it the Sino-Japanese war? Like there's this whole I, war where. J Japanese people literally viewed Chinese people as subhuman, like arguably worse than the than the Nazis viewed the Jewish people. Like there's a whole thing that went there, and I mean the numbers for that are really high as well. But I don't know. Is Japan. that during is that like during Attila the con uh, Attila Attila no. or whatever the fuck you say no, or no, after? No. That would be that after. That was way different time. Japan oh, basically bombed time. Pearl Harbor because the U.S. was sanctioning their oil. Like they weren't sending Japan enough oil, and Japan knew they needed to take over a bunch of shit to secure like oil and actually continue their war in China. But they, yeah, the, they were being sanctioned for war crimes in China before I believe World War II started. Yeah, this was uh, just before World War II, wasn't it? All Ain't this no going way. up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've never, I never did any research on that one, that's for sure. I know that. Because yeah, I, I think Attila was at least 100 years before that, but I'm not That's totally why I was sure. asking if it was after or before, like, because, uh, yeah, like, stuff like that, I, I did research, like, Attila the Han and shit like that. But um, I don't even know if I say that correctly, because I pronounce everything wrong. But, yeah, I'm definitely interested in reading up on that. <coughs> I didn't read that, though, ever, so I can't really speak on something I didn't at least read one book about or watch one documentary. I don't like to do that. Okay. So like I guess after I read it, you know, I'll decide whether or not I'm, I'll tell you if the numbers are exaggerated. What 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 books? Are you gonna go to a library and like get an actual book? Well, yeah. So I like to read physical books. Okay, so like a, a good sourced book by you know not a fucking random unhinged person. Right? Oh well, that's why I asked like. The people that were just introducing this to me, like I would ask Destiny and everybody in the call, like what they would recommend or what researches and or documentaries to look up and be educated. That's why I come just, here. I mean, that's why I like talking to Destiny about things. Like I do like getting educated on things that I think I lack knowledge of. That's the whole point. I like to talk to people smarter than me. I don't like to be the smart person in the room because that's boring. I like to learn. Whether I agree with things or not, I'm here to learn. Okay, now I feel bad because I joked about Attila being 100 years. Attila attacked, like, the late Roman Empire. It's like, 400 AD. Um, yeah, like, Attila's way, way, old, like, old, old, after like fucking 16, the Han. Yeah, like, way they, more... were still, they were using lanterns and shit. Ain't no way. Okay, so wait. So then the Japanese thing wasn't that old either. Okay, I thought you were saying it was way, 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 way back then. No, no, no. The Japanese people were doing crazy shit right before World War II as well. Yeah. Leading up to World War II. Japanese has always been okay, up to crazy so more shit. Present, more towards m more towards the present time timeline. Okay. Okay. Are we uh anything else, guys? Uh nope. I guess not. Not for me. Well, Destiny, you've given me a lot to think about. Yeah. And uh, I guess I'll let you guys know I actually do believe the numbers. I just uh, do this for content purposes because it uh, it's good to hear Destiny and everybody put their minds together and defend uh, our fellow Jews. Ain't no way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, it's entertaining. True. Uh huh. Look at Kelly. She's Come so on, close Kelly. to doing you the voice. You, you can't ready. say you weren't entertained. She's like, about to do like the voice. Hear... I can feel it. Kelly, come, come on, on. I somebody, mean, somebody either this is it. copium or just Somebody had to pretend lies. to be Nick Fuentes. Uh, somebody had to pretend to be Nick Fuentes. Did they? Why Kelly, do they? the voice or I ask how old why? you are. Why did they? Why? Come on. Somebody no. had to argue and be no, the they, Nick Fuentes. Come we on. Don't, we have never needed a Nick Fuentes and we will never need a Nick Fuentes. Right? Come Damn. on. Damn, ain't no just way. do it, Kelly. Do the voice. Do the voice, Kelly. I did all <laughs> no. of this for you to do the voice. Can I please get the voice, Kelly? Please, please, please. No. Kelly. No. Jeez. Looks like I will I do the voice. I will do the Hold voice on. if you mod Sophia. No, I'm not just modding random people because they're women. Do it, you little bitch. <laughs> wow. Ain't no way. 
All right, no voice for you then. Okay. I've never even heard the voice. Can you just do the voice for me? I heard it either. Like, I really don't know what this voice is. Maybe I'm someday lucky. you'll get to hear it. Yeah. Well, I pray that someday Kelly will do the voice for me, as I've been hearing about it for quite some time, and I'm very much intrigued, and it's piqued my interest, and I just really want to hear it. Wow. If you sure it's rather beautiful. Do you know that if the Nazis were coming to pick you up to take you off to a death camp, Peace says you shouldn't be able to defend yourself? Isn't that wild? <laughs> Wait, the Nazis are coming to pick me up right now? If they were coming to pick you up, there's a guy in chat called Pisco who says you shouldn't be able to defend yourself from the state. Wait, did he actually have that position? <laughs> yes, because he says if the state's doing violence against you, as long as it's legal, there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, that's fucking Wait, really? This sounds like a lot like a misrepresentation that you do to me as... <laughs> when have I ever so, misrepresented mm, you? Excuse me. I like saying Kelly hates old dermatologists. That seems pretty. <laughs> I don't know you hated dermatologists. You don't really think they're real I'm doctors. Gonna get banned you just from the don't board of dermatologists them, yeah. at this rate, which I very much need. Okay, don't do that. It's all good. I mean, I don't think dermatologists I, are real doctors them. either. Wait, are they not? <sighs> Kelly doesn't think so. Okay, this is what I mean. No. I thought it was really based the second time when he said he was a doctor and you said, time. no, you're a dermatologist. <laughs> no, I never said that either, you fucks. Oh my god. I just you heard that and I was thinking... saying it, but there's never no any evidence way. for it, so it does not bother me. Ain't no way. Do you ever play scary games, Steve? Yeah. <gasps> Why? I want to see you play scary games. I want to know if you're a... Uh... Well, you got Tyler 1 level reactions or something. No, I just don't give a fuck, okay? Sorry, right. it sucks when I play scary games. Okay. Wait, you're not scared? No, I grew up, like, watching jump scare shit, and playing jump scare games just doesn't do it for me for some reason, okay? Mm. Hmm. I'll watch you play, like, Welcome to the Game or something. Yeah. Yeah, like Visage. You ever play Visage? Nope. Yeah, you gotta play some Visage for sure. Okay. Well, guys, thank you, buddy. Yeah, it's been fun. Be careful. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.